Uh, Pravit Rojanafruk is a columnist with the Thai news agency The Nation. He joins us now from uh, by, by Bangkok to talk more about this. Thank you for being with us. Um, now, obviously, a lot of people both inside and outside Thailand have been very uh, critical uh, of what the military um, has done here. And unfortunately, uh, Thailand is, is no stranger um, to, to military coups. Uh, but this is not the first time as well that they have acted against um, a, a tax in uh, government and, and their supporters have long promised to, to fight back against any uh, intervention to remove their governments. Um, is there a danger here that, that, that things could spiral out of control now? Definitely. There's a real danger that the military junta will not be able to keep the lid. Just as this morning, uh, a few hours ago, the military junta has summoned additional 35 people to report to the military junta. And these 35 people are mostly activists and well-known academics. And if they refuse to uh, submit themselves to the military junta, they could face an imprisonment term of two years. Yesterday, there were also protests with about two to 300 people in the heart of Bangkok, with five being arrested. And just a while ago, soldiers have been dispatched to another location in Bangkok to stop protesters from getting together. So the situation is very fluid. Indeed, uh, but there, uh, there was a, a very, uh, I mean, the, the, the political deadlock that preceded uh, all of this, were, there was no denying that, and it didn't seem as if that there were, uh, as if the, the, the political leaders, uh, that there was any chance of them resolving their differences. So the military are saying that they were forced to act uh, because of this. What, what do you say to that? Well, they can do what they like, but by shutting the ears and eyes and mouths of the people, I don't think it would give Thailand any lasting solution at all. So as it is, they can't even maintain the semblance of uh, peace and order as people are going out to protest against the coup. And this is just less than 48 hours after the coup was staged. What do you read into the fact that at this point uh, so far there hasn't been any, uh, any, any violence uh, at, at so far at this stage? Obviously, it is very uh, early. Um, I mean, do, do you fear that the longer this goes on, that, that, that situation may change? Definitely. If the military junta doesn't very quickly pave, give us a time frame for the restoration of elections and democracy, I think more and more people will be frustrated. And this is not just people who support Thaksin or Ying Lak Shinawatra, but Thais who are fed up with having the military intervening in politics and su suppressing civil liberties every now and then. Good to get your thoughts on this. Pravit Rojan Pruk, uh, thanks for being with us.